The savannah is a well thought out process. It's mainly for turkeys, turkey brood. The turkeys come in, they don't thermoregulate very well, the poults don't, and that's what we want the poults to come in and use this area. They're not so much feeding on the grasses and legumes, they're feeding on the insects. They're feeding on the grasses and legumes. And because they don't thermoregulate too good, uh, if it gets too hot, they can run into the shade, which we provide. If it, if it gets too cool, they come out here and eat. Now, this is kind of a combo we use it for turkey brood, which they do use this and deer. And so that's why we got a little bit more uh, grasses and legumes than you might have on a true savanna. So it's kind of a hybrid in here. But it works very well. We got, we got both major species using this thing. This is part of a harvest we started in 2001 and finished in 2003. And it was 200 and some odd acres and the, the majority of this harvest uh, was a select harvest. We select harvested uh, very lightly uh, some volume off of it. Now, for wildlife purposes, we decided to do a few small clear cuts. Now, the one you're looking at here was originally nine acres and we finished it in 2003. And uh, if you look at the far end, you can see where some of that has grown fairly well since 2003 compared to the, the trees in the background. Uh, clear cuts are great for uh, the wildlife. They use it for cover. They use it to feed on, especially the deer. They get them through the winter when it's bad years, mast years. They don't have something to nibble on like these trees. It's tough for them to survive the winter. So uh, about, I think, 2000 and five or six, the wildlife guy says, hey, why don't we take three acres here and clean it up, make it a wildlife field where we can plant stuff here. And they did, so they brought a dozer in, cleaned off all the stumps, and got it in the condition you see now, and now they plant uh, clovers and other items in here for the wildlife. And as we go around today, you'll probably see a lot of evidence, of a lot of deer and turkey using, using these areas. And there's other two, there's two or three more little small clear cuts in the area that uh, we created in 2003. Great for wildlife. When you open up an area like this and you leave trees, uh, they get shocked sometimes. And some survive and some don't. So we've still may lose some trees. This tree here is not looking too good, but it's, it's a white oak and it's, it's doing okay, but we may lose it. But again, if you look out here, we've got smaller trees coming up. It's going to replace those. We're allowing those to grow uh, so we can replace some of those that we lost. I think they have great benefits, personally. A lot of people hunt around these things in the fall, uh, but 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 a, a savanna is really something that the wildlife folks are really pushing now. They really think these have great promise. So this is why we created these forests are managed by three different agencies: the, the, the uh, parks guys, the, the wildlife guys, and forestry guys. All three have a have a have a play into this, and we all work together.